Where did she come from? Mary Poppins and the Banksies. They're family to me. Mary Poppins was a real person? So it's not the children she comes to save. It's their father. It's your father. You don't know what she means to me. I won't disappoint you. I swear, every time a person walks into a movie house, they will rejoice. Don't you want to finish the story? It was definitely the movie that we watched every Christmas as children, and so, you know, it's a massive part of my life, and then hearing that this craziness had gone on behind the scenes was extraordinary, and I, and I couldn't leave it alone. I was just like, that story has to be told, and I couldn't believe that nobody knew about it. I'm sure I've been shown it some one Christmas when I was way into single digits, four, five, six. Uh, but I was more of a Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory boy. Interesting. I was more I was more into fizzy lifting drinks and everlasting gobstoppers rather than <laughs> spoonfuls of sugar and so on and so forth. <laughs> I wrote the draft really naively, not thinking, oh my God, this can only get made at one studio. I was just like, la, la, la. And then <laughs> finished it and was like, oh shit. <laughs> um, and then luckily um, Disney embraced it and loved it and bought it. And then when, once they came on board, they opened up the archives to me and gave me access to everything. So I hadn't heard those tapes before I wrote the script. Um, I hadn't met Richard Sherman, who was the key to unlocking the next draft of this script. I mean, he was just extraordinary and he will do impressions of Walt for you and and his brother and play all the songs and that was an incredible thing. So there was the first pass and then there was a second pass that, that changed it quite a bit, yeah. I read Kelly's script. I, it was sent to me by my agent and with a note saying that the process of g getting the film together and the cast being put together was all moving along rapidly and that I should get on it pretty quick and I read it that evening uh, and I finished it about two o'clock in the morning and it was singularly the most moving uh, and one of the most engaging scripts I'd ever read it really was and it 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 just defied your ability to stay outside of it in any way shape or form um and even appraise it you know or look at it narratively or characters or di it was just from the opening um scene it was just all engrossing really and and the part itself was beautiful and the part was so beautiful and so touching and um yeah it was as close to a, a no-brainer as i've ever had so I, I emailed my agent that night saying are you sure it's an offer and he said yeah and i said okay we will, let's do whatever we have to do and it nearly didn't work out there was some scheduling issues where i nearly didn't get the chance to do it and it would have pissed me off if i didn't <laughs> get the chance to do it. greatly really would have i heard someone say that when she saw the film they couldn't believe she cried um she did cry the whole way through the film but she cried because she hated it <laughs> <laughs> apparently and then uh, she went up to Walt Disney at the after party and she said, well, I mean, it's terrible and we're going to have to start all over again. <laughs> and Walt said, Pamela, my dear, that ship has sailed. <laughs>